Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic is tooth numbering system. We have basically three numbering systems which is commonly used. There are many uh, tooth numbering systems are available, but we are commonly used uh, three systems, but most acceptable one is FDA system. So uh, let's see the three systems of tooth numbering. So as we all know we have 20 teeth in deciduous dentition and 32 teeth in permanent dentition. So we have additional 12 teeth in permanent dentition because we don't have premolars in deciduous dentition. So we have two premolars that is these two are premolars. So we have two premolars in one quadrant. We say it is quadrant because it is part of a four segment. Okay, so that is why it is known as quadrant. So we have two teeth. This is a quadrant. So we have four segments. One, two, three, four. So this is a quadrant. This is a quadrant. This is a quadrant. This is a quadrant. This is upper right. This is upper left. This is lower left and lower right. See, so always view as a patient. So if this is a patient's mouth, this will be patient's right, this will be patient's left. And this is the lower teeth and this is upper teeth. So I was talking about the difference in teeth number that is 20 in deciduous and 32 in permanent. So the 12 teeth are additional that is a premolars. These two premolars on one quadrant. So we have four quadrant. So eight additional teeth. Okay. But we need 12 additional teeth. Okay. So where is that? four additional teeth which is the third molar okay so the third molar this is the third molar which is not present in deciduous teeth so all the third molars are added so it is four so one two three so three teeth are additional in one quadrant so we have four quadrant so 12 teeth four into three 12 so we have 12 additional teeth in permanent dentition so the chord is ICM. This is ICPM. So this is I for incisors. This is canine. This is molars. Incisors, canine, premolars, and molars. So we have two incisors, one canine, and two molars. Okay. So upper we have two incisors, one canine, two molars. So five in one quadrant so 10 in upper arch or maxillary arch 5 in one quadrant so 10 in lower arch or mandibular arch total 20 similarly in permanent dentition we have two incisors one canine true premolars and three molars so it makes eight teeth in one quadrant 16 teeth in upper arch or maxillary arch eight teeth in one quadrant 16 teeth in lower arch or mandibular arch and total 32 teeth in permanent dentition okay so that is just introduction part and there are lots of differences between deciduous and permanent dentition that will be dealt in next session so let's see three systems of tooth numbering so the common one is universal system so it is just using alphabets in deciduous dentition and numbers in permanent dentition so it starts from upper right quadrant so a b c d e it stops here that is upper right quadrant is over then upper left quadrant so it continues f g h i j so it stops there upper left now we are into lower left quadrant okay this is lower left this is lower right so it just continues like this okay a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t so in what quadrant we have five teeth so it just continues just continues continues so we have 20 alphabets starting from a ending t okay so a to e is a 
upper right second decidiosmal are this is the upper uh, central incisor right central incisor f is upper left central incisor o is lower left central incisor p is lower right uh, central incisor t is lower right second molar so let's see the universal system in permanent dentition it's using the numbers it starts from 1 and it ending 32 so 1 to 8 is upper right quadrant 9 to 16 is upper left quadrant 17 to 24 is lower left quadrant and 25 to 32 is lower right quadrant so this is the upper right third molar this is upper right central incisor 8 9 is upper left central incisor 16 is upper left third molar uh, 24 is lower left central incisor and 25 is lower right central incisor 32 is lower right third molar so i'm just uh, saying uh, all the edge teeth so we can say 7 is right uh, lateral incisor upper right lateral incisor if uh, 23 is lower left lateral incisor 28 is lower right first premolar and 30 is lower right first molar and next we have Zygmondi Palmer system uh, which was uh, introduced by these um, scientists so here it is a different uh, way we are not using entire alphabets we are just using five alphabets in deciduous dentition and eight uh, digits that is one to eight in permanent dentition we are just using the quadrant okay so this is the upper right quadrant and this is the upper left quadrant this is a lower left quadrant this is a lower right quadrant okay so we are just using quadrant symbols so if it is this simple it is upper right central incisor and if it is like this this is lower right canine okay if it is like this this is upper left first molar okay so this a is central incisor B is lateral incisor, C is canine, D is first molar, E is second molar, just changing the quadrant. Here, but it is different. A is first molar, second molar, B is first molar, C is canine, D is lateral incisor, E is central incisor, and it changes. F is central incisor, G is lateral, H is canine, I is first molar, J is second molar. So, similarly, in universal system also, it changes. So similarly, in permanent dentition, so it is starting from 1 to 8. 1 is central incisor, 2 is lateral incisor, 3 is canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar and third molar. Only thing it, we need to think about the quadrant. Okay. So this is upper right second molar, this is upper left first molar, this is lower left central incisor, this is lower right canine. Okay, so it is changing based on the quadrant, but all the teeth has in one quadrant has same number. So one means it is central incisor, two is lateral incisor, three is canine, eight is third molar, but it is not like that in universal system every tooth has different denotation here all the sets of teeth has same denotation only change is a quadrant okay so that is zygmondi palmer system so universal system is very rarely used zygmondi system uh, which is uh, not very commonly used but it is very easy to use uh, it is um, practiced in our clinical practice when we are writing but it is not officially used system the most accepted and officially used system in the academic side is FTI system. So here are the changes. Here it is also known as two digit system. Okay, two digit. We are using two digit. Okay. So here you can see that there are two letters for each tooth. That is five, one, seven, four, six, three, like that. Here also one, five, 
4633324 so the thing is the tooth numbering is same that is 1 is for central 2 is for lateral 3 is for canine 4 first premolar 5 second premolar 6 first molar 7 second molar 8 third molar the only change is the quadrant is denoted by the symbol here but it is denoted by the number so we have four quadrants which is denoted by one two three four in permanent teeth one means upper right two means upper left three is lower left four is lower right similarly in deciduous it has become five seven five six seven eight five is upper right six is upper left seven is lower left 8 is lower right so 5 1 means it is the upper right central incisor 8 4 means lower right first molar 7 4 means lower left first molar 6 5 is lower uh, upper left second molar 1 7 means upper right second molar 3 4 means lower left first premolar so this is a commonly used system in our academic side so we should follow this fta system or Zig uh, fta system or two digit system okay so only uh, change from zigmundi palmer system is instead of this quadrant symbol we are using numbers to indicate the quadrant that is one two three four in permanent dentition and five six seven eight in uh, deciduous condition so that is a very uh, simple uh, session but it is little tricky to understand the concept but once it is very clear it is easy to practice so universal system Zygmunt de Palmer system and FTA system universal system is just going through the letters and numbers starting from A to T 1 to 32 this is quadrant A to E and 1 to 8 but using the quadrant symbol what FTA system or two digit system which was put forward by Federation Dentaire internationally which is using two digit the first digit is of the quadrant and second digit is a tooth number so I'll come up with the difference between deciduous and permanent dentition in my next session thank you